Good morning, Aquinas. Today is October 18th, 2021, and please stand for the morning prayer and the pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord of all wisdom and peace, we need you more than, we need you more than ever. Jesus, you were, you are, and you always will be, and all things hold together in you. We know that we can fully trust you with our lives. Even so, strengthen our faith in you and our sensitivity and obedience to your leading. We ask you for the grace and wisdom to make the decisions we need to on a daily basis. We pray for guidance. Lead us to you. Make our heart's deepest desire to find you above everything. Amen. Let us pray for healing in our community and our world, for our faithful departed, for all those intentions we hold in our hearts, and those written in our book of intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. October is the month of the Rosary. Each day we will reflect on one mystery and pray one Hail Mary. Today's mystery is Proclamation of the Kingdom. Jesus went about the land preaching the coming of the Kingdom of Heaven. He healed the sick and cast out demons. I imagine the awe of the people watching this man proclaim the importance of repenting of our sins as he healed people of their paralysis and leprosy. He preached about love and forgiveness. We too need healing and repentance. I pray for the ability to be humbly and genuinely sorry for my sins against others and against the God who loves me and made me. Please join me in the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas. Pray for us. St. Basil. Pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Good morning, Aquinas. How are all you this wonderful morning? Welcome to the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. I have a feeling that this week is going to be a great one and hopefully relatively quiet for all of us. Uh, I think we need a break. Anyways, we have a great show planned for you today, so let's get right into it. Kenzie, could you hit us with some quick announcements? Sure thing. So this past Friday, our football team put up a great fight against the McQuaid football team, only losing by one point with a final score of 21 to 22. We know that we'll get them next time, though. Now a quick mathletes announcement. The first math meet will be Thursday, October 21st at 3 o'clock in room Library 204. If you wish to participate, you must let Ms. Vaso know so you can access the category form, sign up on OneNote in the math team notebook. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Vaso. And finally, up on the screens are the lunches for this week. All right, awesome. Uh, Mr. and Mr. Way wants us to announce that on Thursday, the Aquinas Modified Girls Soccer Team beat their counterparts from Wayne nine goals to four. The AQ goals were scored by Talia Norton and Viviana Oliveri, two goals each. Savannah Sweet, Heather Gillis, Bella Murator, Angie Maskey, and Stella Carangelo, a goal each. On Saturday, they beat Midlakes 10 to zero. The AQ goals were scored by Savannah Sweet, a hat trick, Heather Gillis, a hat trick, Angie Maskey, two goals, Brianna Fallone, and Leah Quinlan a goal each. The team improved to an 11-0 and record and play their final game for the season today against North Star at Grace and Truth Field. Congrats to the Aquinas Modified Girls Soccer Team for an unbeaten record and for making AQ proud. All right, now up on the screen are the birthdays for this week, so if you see any of these people this week, say happy birthday to them. Oh, and it is also Mrs. Gosnell's 31st birthday today, so we'd like to shout her out. It's my sister's birthday, so be sure to embarrass her today. (laughs) And now a quick Masterminds announcement from Mr. Flavaris. Do you like Jeopardy? Do you like trivia? Do you like competition? If you answered yes to any of these questions and you are in high school, come to the first Masterminds practice of the year in room 321, Tuesday after school. If you are interested but can't attend, please see Mr. Flavaris for more details. If you are in middle school and Masterminds sounds interesting to you, come to the Academic Challenge Bowl interest meeting this Thursday after school in room 321. If you are interested but can't attend, please see Mr. Favaris for details. All right, next up we're going to call Nick Smith up here to talk about the AQ Fine Arts Haunted House fundraiser. (laughs) 
How's it going? It's going pretty good. (laughs) The Aquinas Haunted House is going to be on October 29th from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, It's a fundraiser for the Aquinas Band and uh, Vocal Music. If you'd like to be part of the cast, uh, tour guide, part of the design crew, or work the tickets, please find me, Mr. White, Mr. Pratt, or Mrs. Smith. Uh, They'll all get in contact with me. Just send me your name and what you'd like to do, and I'll put you down on the list. Uh, My email is smithni at aquinasrock.com, and that's all I have. All right, thank you so much. All right, uh, now by popular demand, we have another edition of Kumbaya Jeopardy, so let's call up our contestants. Uh, Today we have Mr. Bostic, he's going to play with us, and Peter McAuliffe is going to come up and play. All right, so the rules are simple. Uh, just slap the table when you want to buzz in and answer in question form. You guys know how to play. And uh, be sure to share the mic. Yeah, sorry, there's only one. All right, here we go. Uh, Peter, you can choose first because you are younger. Oh, me? Yep. All right, I'm going to go. Let's go Science 400. All righty. Science. Yep, where is it? Okay. This theory aims to explain how Pangaea became separate continents, suggesting that the movement of tectonic plates caused the mass to break off and drift into different places. We're going to call time. That is the continental drift theory. All right. All right. Peter's going to choose again. Darn it. I wanted to say that. Darn it. It was right on the microphone. All right. Let's go Science 800. All right. The human body has this many bones when it reaches adulthood. It is also the answer to the problem 4 times 51.5. Peter? 242. That is incorrect. Uh, We're going to call time. The answer is 206. All right, all right. Uh, Mr. Bostic, it's your choice. Let's go uh, modern pop culture for four, Alrighty. please. Uh, this American rapper's real name is Montero Lamar Hill, but some may call him the industry baby. Lil Nas X? That is correct. All right, Peter, it's your choice. All right, let's go modern pop culture eight. 800? All right. Yeah. Uh, this Korean TV show superbly mixes drama, violence, and children's games. It is currently number one on Netflix in 90 countries. Uh, Mr. Bossick. What is Squid Games? That is correct. All right, Mr. Bossick, it's your choice. Uh, Let's go more American history for 2,000, please. 2,000, okay. This grunge band from Washington rose to fame in 1991 with their album Nevermind. Visit Mr. Bossick. What is Nirvana? That is correct. (laughs) All right, Mr. Bossick, your choice. Let's go American history for 16, please. All right. President McKinley was assassinated in this city in New York. What is Buffalo? That is correct. (laughs) Um, I'll stick with it for 12, please. All right. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his last speech of this name, citing the Bible and the story of Moses as he viewed the promised land. The next day, King was assassinated. Mr. Bossick? What is... I didn't read the question, my bad. Uh, Peter, do you have a guess? Is it what I, what is I have a dream? Oh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is I've been to the mountaintop. All right, Mr. Bossick, it's your choice. Uh, we'll stay with it for eight, please. All right. This song by a famous Billy includes rapid fire allusions to news headlines between 1949 and 1989, including the popularity of Marilyn, Man- uh, Marilyn Monroe and JFK's... Uh, what is Peter? We Didn't Start the Fire? That is correct. That's correct. Right All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. McAuliffe, it's your choice. All right, let's finish off the history. All right. The Eagle landed on the moon in this year, also the year of the famous Woodstock Festival. Uh, Mr. Bossett? What is 1969? That is correct. 
All right, Mr. Bostic, it's your choice. Uh, let's go names in the Bible for two, please. All righty. God told this man to kill his son Isaac as a test of his loyalty. He shares a name with the someone's uh, Peter. Uh, who is Abraham? That is correct. All right, uh, Peter, it's your choice. That was that was uh, four hundred. For a name oh, he said 2,000. Oh, you said 2,000? Yeah. Oh, that's my bad. Okay, continue. Let's do 2,000 then. All right. Uh, where is it? Hold on. Oh, there's another sheet. All right. This is the man. It, yeah. It was Paul. That's correct. <laughs> All righty. Mr. Bosick, your choice. Uh, let's go with 16 names in the Bible, please. All right. According to Christian tradition, this apostle was crucified upside down in Rome under Nero. Who is Peter? That is correct. That is your name. All righty. Peter, it's your choice. All right. Let's go names in the Bible 1200. All righty. This was the boy who defeated the mighty Goliath with a slingshot. Mr. Bostic. Who is David? That is correct. All righty. Mr. Bostic, your choice? Uh, let's go crime and film for two, please. All righty. This director, considered one of the greatest of all time, directed both Goodfellas. Who is Scorsese? That is correct. Mr. Bostic is just crushing it. All right, Mr. Bostic. Uh, let's go crime and film for 16, please. All right. The crime drama The Usual Suspects follows a verbal kint who tells a long and detailed story about this famous fictional criminal mastermind. Yeah, there's, there's no phoning a friend, but we'll allow it. I'm going to go with what he said. Yeah, that's correct. It's Kaiser Soze. All right, next choice. Uh, let's go modern pop culture for two. All righty. You know what? I'll just read it. This female singer suddenly made a comeback in her career with her hit single, Easy On Me. We're going to call time. The, the correct answer was Adele. All right, Mr. Bostic, your choice. Uh, let's go back to the names in the Bible for eight, please. Names in the Bible, 800. Okay. Uh, that's a daily double. Do you want to make, uh, just w what's your wager? I'm betting the barn. All right. What was it? What was your wager? The whole thing. All, all of it. Okay. All right, here we go. This apostle wrote one of the four gospels and was the son of Zebedee and Salome. He shares a name with a major peace activist, member of the Beatles, and writer of Imagine. Was John? That is correct. <laughs> Adding a lot of money to his total. All right, Mr. Bossy. Twelve hundred. Okay. Uh, that's that's another day without a deal. What do you want to wager? I mean, I uh, I don't know. I guess I'll go with it all. All right, all of it. All right. This element in the periodic table has a chemical symbol that is the same letter as the first letter of the giant ape that climbed the Empire State Building in 1933 and 2005. Can you hear the crowd? What is potassium? That is correct. All right, adding it all to his total. All right, uh, Peter, your choice. Uh, all right, let's go for modern pop culture for 1200 All righty. Uh, this recent blockbuster starring Ryan Reynolds and Jodie Comer follows a bank teller who discovers that is, Peter? What is Free Guy? That is correct. All right, next choice. Uh, let's go modern pop culture 1600 All right. In this famous TikTok audio and an old Starburst commercial, a little lad wants these two sweet treats. Peter? What is berries and cream? That is correct. All righty. What the heck is that? Uh, next choice. <laughs> All right, let's go for a science 1600. Science is 1600. Where? Where are you? All right, a Hamilton song in Act 2, in which Hamilton details how he's always wrote his way out, is named after this type of natural disaster, detailing how it is quiet in the eye. What? Come on, it's an easy one. I'm sorry. No? I'm sorry. You refuse to answer? I'm sorry. All right, we're going to call time. That is Hurricane. All right, make the next choice, Peter. All right, let's go Crime and Film 400. All righty. What do you say, Crime and Film? Okay, the head of this kind of animal is front and center in an infamous scene from The Godfather. Mr. Bosick? What is a horse? That is correct. Make the next choice. 
Uh, let's go crime and film for 12. Alrighty, finish the line. Forget it, Jake. It's blank. I'm gonna guess over. Oh, that's, that's not correct. All right, the correct answer we're gonna call time is Chinatown. All right, final two clues. Make a choice, uh, Mr. Brasic. Uh, let's go crime and film for eight, please. All righty. This visionary director directed the crime drama. Who was Tarantino? That is correct. All right, and the final clue. Let's see it. The sciences. Uh, yep. The Joker, played by the late Heath Ledger in this 2008 movie. What is the Dark Knight? That is correct. All right. That is our game. Mr. Bostic wins with a total of $26,400. Let's hear it for both of our contestants. Let's hear it. All right, it looks like we're just about wrapping up. If you want to be interviewed on Kumbaya, talk to me or Lucas to be able to talk about sports, clubs, events, or anything else. We do plan on doing individual teacher spotlights and interviews in the near future, so stay tuned. All right, that's all we have for you today. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's broadcast of the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. Stay safe and healthy. See you next week.